Now, what is one of the biggest trends in the air gun industry today? Well, semi-auto stands out to me as one of the largest growing sectors of the air gun sport, especially when it's coming with new products. But the prices, while they can oftentimes be a little overwhelming, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're gonna get what you pay for. But occasionally, a product comes to the table that is reasonably priced, while also exceeding one's expectations. Now, you'll wanna stay put because we will be looking at one such product today, right here on the Airgun Advisor. The Airgun Advisor is brought to you today by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Hot Sun USA, and Rapid Air Works, makers of raw air guns. You'll find more information in the description down below. Let's welcome to the bench a new PCP pistol for 2024, the Hot Sun VLOX Semi-Auto Air Powered Pistol. Now this little air pistol has a lot going for it. And the very first thing I want to mention is the current price point which I wasn't even aware of as I was testing. Now, after I did testing this, I was figuring that this was gonna be between the $500 and $600 price range based on whatever else is out there, as well as the feel and the performance that the VLOX had, and talk about being wrong, because this thing actually retails for $399, which made me almost fall out of my chair. As air guns these days, well, yeah, they tend to be a little pricey when they are at this much fun. So, what can we expect from the Hotson VLOX? A ton of fun. Of course, we got the Hotson VLOX down here at the range. Before we get to shooting groups, though, you have a pistol like this, you really just want to have some fun with it. So, I've got some of my favorite steel targets down there. We've got the Action Armor No Limit Swinger down there, which is a great little packable target if you want to take down in the range or even just leave it outside in the backyard if you're allowed to shoot there. And of course, I got my Steel Silhouette Gophers out there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to be shooting the, uh, these are the, oh, let's see, 13 grain JSB pellets. So let's have some fun before we get to work. Here we go. I should mention also, I'm shooting with a red dot on here. That's the Hawk Endurance red dot. Uh, you can also use the regular sights that come with a pistol, but you know, I got it to red dot. Why not use it, right? All right. Anyway, enough talking. Let's go shoot. silhouettes too much fun let's go ahead and get some more pellets in here and i'll try that action armor target next all right we've got the action armor target down there i'm going to start with that target on the right it is a small target about a quarter of an inch a little small but you know what i think with this pistol and this setup i should be able to hit it let's go ahead and do it oh <laughs> <laughs> First shot. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. Next one up. Oh, no way. I'll probably miss the big one. And I didn't. Three for three. Gotta love it. Let's go ahead and get some groups on paper down there. We're going to move it out to 20 yards for that and just have some fun and check out some different pellets. I'll be right back. You can't ask for more from a pistol. So, First things first though, it does come with a case that has more than enough room for all the accessories and pellets you're gonna want. Then you also have your choice of colors as the VLOX not only comes in black like I have in front of me, but also a very nice flat dark earth with your choice of calibers, 22 or 25. Now the VLOX is made out of a very rigid polymer. I mean, it feels very, very, very much like a real firearm in your hand, and it's very rugged feeling. So it's not something that you're gonna have to worry about, and the VLOX is ready to stand up against those rough handling conditions in the field. It also comes with not one, but two magazines and two air cylinders. So you can swap these bad boys out in the field, and each cylinder contains 55 cc's of 250 bar pressure 
filled canisters and 250 bar for those of you who may not know is 3600 psi and that are filled via a very convenient quick disconnect right here on the underside of the gun. Now these air cylinders are great because they're easily packable and swappable out there in the field. So if you're gonna to go to the range session and you, uh, well, don't wanna get up and fill the air tank every time, just have the couple extra air cylinders laying around and you can unscrew it and screw a new one right back in. Now, this can be a little bit loud. Remember the barrel's not very long and well, with the barrel not being very long, all the air is coming right out the muzzle. But Hotson did us a favor and they included one half by 20 threading right on the end here. Well, so you can quiet it down with your favorite moderator and no time be out there plinking in silence. Now out of the box, the VLOX is equipped with fiber optic sights. And although these do work, you will also quickly notice that I have chosen to take mine off and I have added a very nice red dot made by Hawk Optics. This is the Hawk Optics Endurance Red Dot. And you have the nice Picatinny rail right up top here so you can add anything you want, but it's also nice because it has 11 millimeter dovetail rail right in there as well. So you don't need to, well, pick up any kind of new scopes if you have a dovetail rail versus a Picatinny rail mounts, both will work right here. Now for my testing, I went ahead and added this Hawk Endurance Red Dot, like I mentioned earlier, and that really allowed for some quick target acquisition and definitely some improved accuracy over those fiber optic sights. Of course, before we get to targets and groups, let's do some real life testing. And then that testing showed that over the chronograph, I was able to get 26 shots. That's about two magazines filled of pellets. But as you'll also notice, those last few shots, well, they really fell off the power curve, as you can see in the graph that I have right over here. Max power, well, I was getting 610 feet per second using 18 grain pellets in this 22 caliber air pistol. Now, this test subject did beat the stated FPEs that Hotson suggests out of the box, I was getting not 12.6 FPE like they suggest you can get, I was getting closer to 15 foot pounds of energy through the first 12 shot magazine. Not too bad for an unregulated pocket rocket like this. So with all the specs in mind, enough talking, let's go take this out to the range and see if the Hotson Velox has the accuracy to stand up to that 399 price point and if it might just beat out some other semi-auto pistols that are on the market today. Now it's time to get to work. Plinking's fun, but we gotta know what's most accurate. So we're gonna try three different pellet types here. And this first one is actually the Hot Sun Vortex Strike 22 caliber pellets. These are 17.75 grains. So we're gonna see how these do. Now in between each group of 12, yeah, 12 shot groups, it's a full magazine, I'm gonna refill the PCP. That way each pellet has an equal opportunity to perform and show us what it has. So we got the target down there at 20 yards. Enough talking, let's get shooting. All right, first 12 shot group is done. We're gonna go ahead, switch out the magazine for a new magazine and fill up the air gun with air. Now the second group that we're gonna be doing up here is to go in the middle target down there. And this is the exact Jumbo Diablo pellets, 15.89 grain, 12 shots again. Let's see what we got. So far I'm digging this.
Another 12 shot group. Can't really tell what I've got going on down there. I imagine it's all right. All right, let's go ahead, fill this up one more time. And then we're gonna hit the lightest pellets, the 13.43 grain JSB Diablo, Jumbo Diablo RS. Fresh fill, new pellets. Now check this out though, I wanna show you, look at this. Oh, magazine storage right in the grip. What's not to like about that? All right. These are the lightest of the pellets coming in at, what did I say? 13.43 grains. So this is what we can do. This is going to be the bottom target at 20 yards. Now, hopefully you notice too that I'm not like sitting here working hard, readjusting. I'm kind of just trying to rattle some shots off so you at home get an idea of what it's capable of without too much effort. So... All right, 12 shots. Let's go ahead and take the magazine out, put this on safe so we can go ahead, walk down there and see what kind of groups we got. Let's go. There is nothing to complain about with these groups down here. Look at this. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Let's take a look at that first one. There is the Vortex Strike. Not bad. Great plinking target right there. Nothing crazy, but then take a look at this. We get down to the JSBs. Holy cow. I mean, look at that tight group. 20 yards from a hot sun Velux. You can't beat that. That's probably me. Uh, would be my guess. I don't know. And then here we go. There's lighter pellets, even lighter. Again, real nice tight group. A little flyer out there. But for somebody who's not a pistol shooter like myself, that really is pretty impressive. Go check out the Hot Sun v -Locks. I know you can pick them up at Air Guns of Arizona, a whole bunch of different places as well. But until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, those pellets fly straight. Get out there and have some fun, and we'll see you right here on the Air Gun Advisor.